The first thing you'll need to do is get the wallet for your operating system. So you'll need to navigate to this URL. I'll leave this in the description and then choose your operating system. I'm going to be using Windows 64 bit, so I will download this version. You will also need to download a uh, blockchain backup. Now this will speed up the sync when you install your wallet. So once you have those downloaded, we'll install it. So when you download the wallet and the backup um, blockchain, they will be in zip files. So you can use uh, WinZip or WinRAR or 7-Zip to unzip them. I've just got them on the desktop here. So the first thing we'll do is we will open the um, wallet and I'll be installing the 64-bit version. Okay, and you need to use this one here. So just double click on that, run it. And I'm just going to put it in the default directory for now. Um, and just install that. Okay, now we can run it. Now, when this opens, you will notice uh, that it's going to take a while to sync. Now, this is the reason why we downloaded the uh, backup blockchain. I'll show you in a second. As soon as this loads, uh, it'll show you how long it's going to take. Now, it'll because it's got a lot, it's got to actually sync with the entire blockchain. In other words, it's got to download it. Let me just get it from the other screen here. Um, okay, so you can see down here synchronizing with network and you can see it's going to take one year and seven weeks okay so that's a long time so we don't want to do that so what we're going to do is we're going to close the wallet let's wait for it to shut down now i'm going to go to my start menu and in here i am going to put in uh, app data got to put that percentage sign in the front and the back and then forward slash um, and then PIVX. Um, yeah, why isn't that showing it? Okay, I'm not sure why that's not showing it, but it should do. Um, maybe it has to be capital. No. Did I spell something wrong? I don't think so. Well, I'm not too sure why that's not showing it. So we'll just do it um, manually. Um, so if you just go to here down you probably need to do this if you're on Windows 10 anyway um, and then into app data and then roaming and then find PIVX uh, we'll go down here and there's PIVX okay so what we want to do is we want to replace the blocks and the chain state folder um, both those folders okay so basically just select those two and just delete them okay and then the one that you downloaded open that up and just come in here and grab the both of them you can just drag them in there or just copy them um, and paste them in there okay like that so we've got them in there now so now what we'll do is we will um, open up that wallet again and what you can do is you can just make a shortcut. So I'm just going to uh, just right click and create shortcut and then just drag this onto the desktop like that. Okay, and I'll just shut this. Okay, so we'll just use this to open it. Now, when this opens, uh, it should say that it's only a few days behind. Um, if you had not used this backup blockchain, it will take uh, a few hours and it could take even longer depending on your internet connection so this is definitely the fastest way to do it okay see this so now if you look down here it says two days behind okay so that's a lot better so once this synced hundred percent with everything uh, then we'll encrypt the wallet so what I'll do now is I'll just pause the video and as soon as it's synced I will come back so just to let you know you can see down here it's uh, synchronized uh, it's synchronizing with the master node winners now it will take a few minutes to synchronize so if you do see this stuck or anything don't stress out because it does take you know a couple of minutes up to five maybe ten minutes depending uh, on your connection so don't let this worry you okay okay now that we have our wallet fully synced to the blockchain we need to do a few things to enable it for staking so the first thing we will do is go up to tools and then open configuration file 
Now, this might work for some people and it might not work for others. It just depends. I'm not too sure why, but for me, if I just put in staking equals one, and now this might work for you, so you can try this, and then just file and then save. Remember that when you first open, try and open the configuration file, it might ask you um, what program you want to open it with. Just make sure that you use Notepad because it's the most basic one. Okay, so now this might work. There is also something else you may need to do. If this does not work, um, then uh, what you may need to do is add additional code. Okay, and this is the additional code that you will need to add. So you can see that the staking one is here. Okay, now this was actually added by default into the new version of the wallet, so you shouldn't need this, but for some reason, some people do. So if we just uh, we can put that in here. Okay, and all you need to do is just change these two to your own, uh, make your own user up. I'll just call this Shane. Um, and then on here for a password, I'll just call it Shane123. Uh, and then save it. Okay, so I haven't actually tried this with myself, with my system, but we'll see if it works. Um, and then uh, close it. Okay, and the other thing we need to do is we need to encrypt the wallet. Okay, so if we come up to settings and encrypt wallet, just put in a uh, passphrase in here. Remember, it's very important that you um, write this down somewhere and save it somewhere because uh, you'll need this if you ever lose, if your computer ever goes haywire and you need to uh, install the wallet again. So just make a uh, passphrase, write it down, and yes. Now, it may look like your system is freezing, but don't worry, just chill out. It's not, just let it run. And as soon as it's ready to, it will throw a pop-up up, which should happen any second. Okay, and just click OK, and now it will close, okay? So let's reopen it again. Now, it will need to quickly sync, which could take um, a couple of minutes, so I'll just uh, pause the video while this is actually loading. So the next thing that you'll need to do is actually add some PIVX into here. Okay, now the way that you do that is if you have them have PIVX on an exchange, all you need to do is get the address. So you can go to File, Receiving Addresses, okay, and then you'll have one here. You can add a new one if you wanted to. And all you do is right click on that and then copy address, okay? And that's the address that you'll be sending the PIVX to, okay? To your folder, uh, to your wallet, okay? So now, let me show you something. So if we come down to start, and I'm just gonna go to that, uh, to the installation folder again for PIVX, okay? I'll just bring that across. Now, you'll notice that there's this, the wallet dat okay now when you make a transaction it will be stored in this wallet so if you have for example 100 pivx in your wallet in your wallet it will be stored the data will be stored on this okay so at the moment this is empty okay because i obviously have no pivx in the wallet okay so but what you can do is you can back this up. So for example, I could copy this. If this had, if, if I had PIVX in here, I could copy this and move it somewhere else and have it as a backup. So what I do have is I actually have a backup from another wallet, okay? And this just has like 98 PIVX on it, but I'm gonna use that 98 PIVX to show you how to stake, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna close this wallet, okay? I'm now going to delete this dat file, okay? Now I'm gonna replace it with the one that I have backed up that has PIVX on it, okay? So I'm just gonna copy that and just paste it in here, okay? So now that's in there. So I'll just close that, move that off screen and I'll reopen the wallet, okay? Now I'll pause this video just while this loads. Okay, so now we have our configuration file edited. We have our wallet encrypted. It's time to unlock it. 
and see if we can get it staking. So if we go up to settings, then unlock wallet, you'll need to tick for anonymization and staking only, and then enter the passphrase that you used when you um, encrypted your wallet, okay? Then just okay it. Now, if we come down here, you'll see that if you roll over this, it tells you that it's unlocked, but we need this arrow to turn green. See, it says staking is not active, okay? Now, this, now or you can see mine's turned green. There you go, so it's, it's worked. Now, I did use, remember when I did the configuration file, I used all of this, okay? So you may need to do that, or you may only need staking equals one. Okay, so now this is uh, staking. Just remember it will depend on how much you have in here, will depend on when you get your payouts. The more you have, obviously, the faster the payouts. Uh, to give you an example, um, 7,000 will take about two days, three days before you get a payout. If you've got anything less than 5,000, it could take a few days. So don't expect it to happen every day if you haven't got much in here. With this amount, it would take forever. So you really need a, a few more PIVX in there, okay? So I hope this video tutorial helped you.